Joan Bakewell was at an event for a book prize today, but felt bound to apologise for saying anorexia is a sign of narcissism. I naively participated in a speculative conversation expressing off-the-cuff remarks without reference to evidence or current, of current thinking. Now that has caused enormous upset. And I'm deeply distressed that that should have caused so much pain. She was quoted as saying people with anorexia are preoccupied with being beautiful and it's possible that it could be about narcissism. Emma Sieber used to have an eating disorder and now researches anorexia writing. She says suggesting people choose to be anorexic out of vanity will make sufferers feel they don't deserve help. I felt frustrated that uh, someone um, would still be parroting these kind of old-fashioned views about what eating disorders are, that they're this kind of superficial, slimmer's disease. Um, and more than that, I think it would be quite alienating, especially if, if you were suffering and you were thinking about um, going to receive treatment. The, the expectation that someone might think that you were narcissistic or vain uh, kind of trivialises the experience of being ill. Joan Bakewell says she was misinterpreted. Do you feel that anorexia is somehow a first world indulgence and not a medical mental health condition? I made my statement. I spent six hours answering tweets yesterday. I think that's enough. I've made it clear. I've put the situation behind me. I was surprised that the article appeared at all because I thought I was having an off-the-record conversation informally with the journalist. I'm not surprised that a great many people were offended and hurt, uh, and I did what I could to respond to that. Andrew Radford of the charity Beat says lots of people still don't believe anorexia is an illness. She, what she's done is express the feelings, uh, the views that are commonly uh, expressed about eating disorders. So uh, one level it's an opportunity to, to get the, the truth out there, uh, but it's not been a very pleasant experience for anyone suffering. Baroness Bakewell says she's full of regrets for her remarks on a subject she admits she knew little about and appealed for more information and research.